Hello everybody, welcome back to another 10 cards plus a bonus video today. I'm using Doodlebug Booville. This was the collection released last year, but I didn't get a chance to play with it, so I told myself I wasn't allowed to order the new one until I finished this. So I'm using the 6x6 paper pad and the icon sticker sheet, which I'm showing you here, and I had shown you just the cut apart piece that came out of the paper pad that I'm going to be using. So for card number one, I'm using my Blueprints 27. This is MFT. This is one of the dies that comes in that collection. It's a rectangle, a scalloped rectangle. I'm using these googly eyes that I purchased at my local dollar store. I got a whole bag of them for really cheap and they went perfect with this paper. I already had them in my collection, well in my stash, so I was happy to finally use them. So I chose the sentiment, I want candy. It would have been cuter if the I was spelt E-Y-E, but I thought whoever got this card would kind of get the play on words. So I'm just adhering the googly eyes down across the panel, and that's pretty much it for that card, but I think it's super cute. It's one of my favorites. I love how the little googly eyes move. I did use two different sizes for each pair of eyes to kind of make them look a little wonky. So on to card number two. I'm using the reversed scalloped dies from Lawn Fawn. Loving these to give a little bit of something extra to cards. So I cut that out using some of the purple paper in the paper pad and then I'm using the ghost paper for the majority of the panel of my card. So this greeting says ghostly greetings. I'm using two of the ghost stickers from the icons collection sheet. I'm going to adhere that down. I just placed that sentiment behind the scallop border. I'm going to add some fun foam to these little cuties. I'm going to trim them up and then I'm just going to adhere them onto the card using some glue. Placing one ghost just above the greeting and then the other kind of diagonally on top. To finish off card number two, I'm going to use some of these purple stars. And the, the sticker pack came with a lot of stars, so I really wanted to make sure I used them up. Pretty plain and simple, but super cute because anything Doodle Pug is just adorable. So we're going to move on to card number three. So I used a stitched circle die, and then I'm going to use Old Faithfuls here, my Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle dies. I just cut out the center of that panel because I didn't want to waste that paper. So I'm going to glue that onto my card base. This will be the piece uh, framing the entire card. I decided I wanted to cut up this little piece of paper because it was a scrap and it didn't quite reach the end of my card base. You can't really notice it on the video, but it would have driven me crazy if it was just that tiniest bit too short. So I added that to the back of the card and then placed this purple colored paper panel on the back. I'm going to use the little witch icon and the little black cat for this card. So I popped them up on some fun foam as well. Going to adhere them down. I did have to trim off the foam on the back of the kitty here so that it would sit in line with the witch. So just overlapping them ever so slightly. And then I'm going to use the sentiment. So I thought that I wanted to use the sentiment best witches. The orange and black stripe, it came from the sticker pack and it's actually, I think, supposed to be a candy. But I started playing around here and the purple on the purple just wasn't working so I pulled in this other sentiment from the cut apart sheet which says spooktacular and I'm just going to fishtail that on one end and then I'm going to place that just below the orange and black stripe sticker that I have there and that pops out a lot better and the blue picks up with the blue in the stars and then I'm going to add some more of those sticker stars and I'm going to make sure that I have a blue one there to tie that in as well. So I just ended up putting the best 
witches on the inside. I do decorate all the insides of the cards off screen, but I will show you all the insides at the end of the video when I'm going through all of the cards. So here I'm just sprinkling a bunch of the stars all over. I wanted to try to use up as much of the sticker sheet as I could. And those stars just go perfectly with that circle panel of stars. So here's a close up and then we're going to move on to card number four. So for card number four, this pattern paper was super busy. So I'm going to have that on the back panel and then I took a piece of this really cute paper with all the little characters and I cut that into a triangle. So that's going to cut up the busyness of that paper. I thought I wanted to use this blue piece of paper to tie in with the little uh, Dracula character, but I couldn't get it to work right. So I pulled out this ribbon or decorative tape from my Halloween stash. This is actually sticker tape, so you can just peel it off nice and easy and it sticks perfectly to the card base without having to add any extra adhesive, which is great because it's really quite fussy and I played with it a bit there, so that's why I skipped ahead here. So I'm just laying that down. It's also nice and fuzzy, so it's really nice to touch actually. Just feels so nice and soft. So I trimmed off the edges of that that were overhanging. I'm gonna add the sentiment, Happy Halloween. And then I'm going to glue down my little characters and I did use fun foam for the little ghost and the little Dracula character as well. So, so cute, these little characters, adorable. So I just adhere them together there on the bottom right hand side of the card, get them into place, and then this card will be done as well. So as always, very clean, simple cards, but you don't really need to do much. I say that I think in every doodle bug video because the stuff is just so cute. I mean, you could basically put down some paper on a card and not do much else and they'd be adorable. So moving on to card number five, I'm going to use this spider paper and this black polka dot paper. I used a fancy scalloped rectangle die from Lawn Fawn for this card for the spider paper and then the stitched rectangle die for the black polka dot paper. So I'm going to use these three spiders that came in the sticker sheet. I'm going to add some black twine to the back of them so it's like a piece of the spider web hanging down from them. I'm just simply sticking those on right to the adhesive sticker. I am going to add some fun foam to the back of these and then just glue them right on. So I'm just going to show you gluing one because I had to hold them down for quite a while until the glue dried. But basically I'm just pulling the string over to the back of the card and adhering that down with some scotch tape. I'm going to get this little one in place and then I'll cut the twine off and then I'll add the two other spiders to the card as well. So I'm going to adhere this panel. I popped it up on some fun foam and I'm going to put it into the middle of the black polka dot paper panel here. So there's all those little cute spiders dangling from their web. I'm going to use the little cut aparts that say eek and then underneath that one that says bugs and kisses. So cute. And for all of the cards, I just stamped Happy Halloween on the inside. And I'm going to actually be giving these to my staff at work. So there's that card complete. Now we'll be moving on to card number six. And I'm just using those good old rectangle dies again. So I cut out a piece of the paper that has all the little houses on it. It's adorable. And there's all kinds of little characters trick-or-treating. And then a smaller panel out of the spiderweb paper. It's very hard to see on camera, but it's white with gray spiderwebs. I'm using a piece of this blue paper as a strip across the back just to give some added interest. And then I'm going to add this panel to the middle here. 
I'm using one of the cut apart, so I am going to fussy cut this out, this little house, which goes perfectly with the paper. I'm going to add the street lamp with the little hanging pumpkin, the black cat, and the little mummy trick-or-treater for this card. So I'm going to adhere all of this down, and then when I was looking at it in person, the mummy really got lost on the back of that white spiderweb paper. Looking at it on camera back as I'm editing it, I don't feel like it gets as lost as much as it did in real life. But I do end up pulling up the stickers and then I'm going to add a stitched circle with some pattern paper behind them. So here's where I've got them all pulled up and I'm going to use that really busy pattern paper but it's such a small amount that it actually frames them up quite nice and it ties in all the colors in the pattern paper with the houses on it. I'm going to use this sentiment happy haunting. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it yet. But the little mummy definitely pops up or pops out from the back now that I have that circle in place. So for the last bit, I'm going to figure out where I want this sentiment. I'm just going to cut off both ends here. I'm not going to fishtail or anything like that. And then I'll adhere that down under the house. And I think that looks cute. Just kind of a different spot for the sentiment and it kind of grounds that house as well. So I'm going to add some more of these stars because I still had a few left and that will finish that card. So here's a close up. I love all the little cars in that pattern paper. It's so cute. So moving on to card number seven, I'm bringing back the reversed scalloped rectangle window dies. It's always such a mouthful. And I'm going to well, I cut that out of some black polka dot paper and then I'm using this really pretty circular pattern print and one of the cut aparts from the paper pack with the little ghosts on it that says boo. This card is super simple, but it needed something with a lot of solid color to pop out from that background. So it says, hello, beautiful. So cute, so easy. So moving on to card number eight, I used a stitched square die for these two smaller panels and then the stitched rectangle die for this back panel. And the back panel is really cute. It's lime green with white polka dots. I'm using the trick or treat paper on the back there, the first square. It's got a bunch of candy on it and then this plaid print in front of that. So I'm going to use the little Frankenstein monster character and the sentiment says eat, drink, and be scary. So I just fishtailed that and I'm going to have the little Frankenstein monster standing on the sentiment just to ground him. And then there were these candies in the sticker sheet and I thought I should probably try to use them. I'm trying to figure out where I want them and I wish I had kind of left them in that sort of pattern the two of them together like that, but I end up kind of, well, I end up putting them like this, which is okay, but I do like the other way better. And then these are some tiny little gumballs, so I just added three to the card. I'm gonna figure out which colors I want here, move that one up a bit more, and then place that down, and that card will be finished as well. So moving on to card number eight, I believe. Card number nine, moving through these quickly. So again, stitched rectangle die, and I'm using the trick or treat paper here for a full panel. I popped up this little cut apart on some fun foam. It says trick or treat. And then I'm gonna add this little fairy trick or treater. I had popped her up on some foam, uh, fun foam as well. And then the bucket of candy up to the other side. And that card is done super easy. So moving on to card number 10, I used a stitched oval die and of course the rectangle die. So I'm using this polka dotted paper for the back of this card. I think this is a cute one if you have some little boys in your life that you want to send a Halloween card to. I'm using the 
plaid paper again here, and then the sticker says Halloween, but it goes perfectly with that brightly colored polka dot paper. I had two little characters left, so I had the pirate and the little character dressed up as the skeleton, and I'm just going to place them in the center of the oval just above the Halloween sticker. Of course, I didn't get this one on quite right, so I had to pull that up carefully. I am going to add the sentiment got candy, which I think is really cute because their buckets are empty. So I was trying to figure out where I wanted this, and then it felt like it was getting lost because it had the same colors in it. So I just backed it onto some orange paper. It was a scrap that I had left. So I just fishtailed that and then I'm going to figure out where I want this to go on the card. Originally I thought I wanted it under the Halloween, but I end up moving it to the top left of the card and then you can see my little skeleton is up too high and when I pull him off, it rips. Ah. But it's okay, I'm able to get it back on and you can't even tell. So just try to remember not to adhere them down until you're absolutely sure you've got them exactly where you wanted to want them. That was my fault. I shouldn't have had it down so firm. But I just used my marker. You can't tell it ripped. And that was that card. Super cute little trick-or-treaters. So on to the bonus card. I'm using my wonky stitched rectangle die and the good old rectangle stitch die from Lawn Fawn using the adorable pumpkin paper and I'm going to use the little sentiment that says hey pumpkin and I had three little pumpkins left from the sticker pack I had miscounted my cards that's why you're getting a bonus I had put the spider card under uh, my book of dies to kind of flatten it out from the twine and when I was counting all my cards I had nine and I thought for sure I had ten but it was because I forgot that I had put that other one under my die so I made this one as number ten and then when I was going back over the video and I was adding the card numbers I realized that yes in fact I did have ten before I did this one so I had to go back and find it and then I remembered where I put it so there's that card really cute super easy I love the little pumpkins so I'm just going to show you what I have left over. I actually used all of the stickers. I only have one full sheet left. And here's where I'll show you the cards and how I decorated them on the inside. They're all different, but it's nice to use up a full sticker sheet and have absolutely nothing left. So now I feel really good about purchasing a new Halloween collection for next year. So here's all the cards. Let me know which one is your favorite. It's like a little game to always try to figure out which one people are going to like the best. I think my favorite is the little googly eyes. It's so simple, but I think it's so cute as well. So as always, thank you so much for spending some time with me. I appreciate all your likes and your comments. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of 10 card videos. I have a holiday card series coming up. I do also have a Halloween card series going on right now, as you could tell by the title of this video. Have a great day, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.